KTSM 9 News, proudly serving those who serve. Sponsored by GECU. Welcome back everyone. Well, it's a really cool segment that we have serving those who serve. And tonight we're highlighting a very interesting gentleman, Norman yeah. Stark. Yeah, and Stark is actually, he's a local veteran mm -hmm. who's giving back to the community by fostering dogs and giving them a second chance in life. Check it out. I started out as a combat uh, tanker. I spent most of my time in Europe from the 25 years, 15 years was in Europe where I met my wife. Uh, brought her back here and we've been here in El Paso since 2008. Hey. We see that this community is in need of volunteers and fosters. So as of 12 years now, that since we've been here, we've been giving back to the city. We've fostered 520 animals between cats, dogs, puppies. We're giving the animals a second chance. And without us, you know, I'm not sure would put a lot more down. Good girl. Well, Mama, are these your babies? Your babies, be nice. Yeah, be nice. Spray and neuter. Yeah, spay and neuter, because it's a, a non-ending uh, thing. Every time we think we the city gets a grasp of it, it turns around and we're back to the high numbers again. Like, the, the shelter itself is only designed to, to hold 300 to 400 dogs. At any given time during the summer months, they have 700. So they're well, they're well overpopulated. And I mean, it's hard. So spay and neuter, I mean, and, you know, the backyard breeders, we need to stop it. It's just a passion. She, went, <laughs> she wanted to be a veterinarian as a kid <clears throat> and her parents wouldn't allow her. So now that we've uh, we're out on our own, we can pretty much, we don't have to answer to mom and dad no more. For the love of the country, give back. Even if you only do four years. Go in and see if it works for you. If not, then it wasn't your cup of tea. Time for you to go and thank you for your service. 